Energy and Climate Change Minister Chris Bowen has ruled out calls for a review of the troubled $5.9 billion Snowy Hydro 2.0 project. Bowen has conceded there are delays and cost blowouts. He says they're disappointing, but insists that a new chief executive officer will provide a fresh set of eyes. Let's welcome Associate Editor Graham Lloyd to the program. Graham, look, so far, the scheme seems to be not just troubled, but a waste of taxpayer dolly dollars. Surely we need more than just a fresh set of eyes, uh, given we're so far behind schedule and, and, it's, and it's billion dollars over budget. Yes, uh, good uh, evening. Certainly it's way behind schedule, it's way over budget, and uh, Chris Bowen is probably still trying to put enough political space between himself and the project for uh, as the costs and delays continue to mount. Uh, this was supposed to cost about $2 billion in the first instance. Uh, now the latest estimates are that with uh, transmission lines and other things, it might be $20 billion. Uh, but more seriously, the uh, tunnel boring machine that is supposed to be uh, digging this tunnel where the water will flow before two dams, uh, is stuck at the beginning of its job. Uh, there's uh, no real indication of how it's going to be dug out of its uh, hole, and uh, the whole thing is looking fraught going forward. And it's been uh, stuck this for is a, a huge I mean, it's problem. been stuck for months. The, the, it, the actual piece of equipment that is meant to dig the hole. That, that's right. The piece of equipment has just got started and there's a huge sinkhole of soft ground uh, uh, right where it began and they don't know how to get it out. So uh, th this is a very serious dilemma. Look, and on a bigger scale, this yeah. is... Look, this was Malcolm Turnbull's pet project. He said this was going to help us with the transition to you know, a greener economy. Um, but, but if it's hitting such hurdles... You know, are we moving too fast if we don't have any infrastructure ready um, to make up for the electricity that we're not going to have from uh, the coal the coal plants? Well, the, the uh, Snowy Hydro 2.0 was always sold as basically the big battery that was going to back up all these wind and, and solar projects that are going in. And in that sense, it's desperately needed because uh, there needs to be something to... Uh, supply firm power over a long period of time and pumped hydro was the thing that was going to do that uh, but we're going to need uh, those sort of uh, facilities on a grand scale and uh, this is the first one that's uh, been tried and the progress is slow the costs are running out uh, we better get better at doing this stuff that's the lesson